<laughs> We're all delighted that, that, that Dax has signed his contract. You know, he's a, a really young player with high potential. Feel good to be back, Rich? Yeah, felt a bit weird just being around it again after so long, but even like the small things, I never thought I'd say I'd like miss a passing draw or something like that. But just doing all that and actually feeling good. I think the first session I was a bit like on edge, but today actually, uh, obviously you have to ask some of the other lads, but I thought I was flying, so. <laughs> you know, as much as I never say it to his face, Sam's actually helped quite a lot with uh, like all the testing I've done and everything like yeah. that. My scores are actually stronger now than when I actually did my hamstring, so. You know, if I was doing those tests and not like getting the scores that I was expecting, I'd probably be a bit more on edge. Like, can I be at like the level I was when I was like first came? But with, with all the scores, you know, somehow I managed to get faster, which I didn't think was possible as well. So, with all those scores, I mean, I'm sure once I'm back in, you know, just trading and around it, then when I get my chance again, I'm I'm sure I can get back to how I was before. <laughs> I thought we played well as a team, um, probably deserve to go through to the next round, but um, back of the peninsula in the replay, so uh, yeah, it'll be a good, another good game to look forward to. Well, obviously we spoke about it after the game, where we haven't been at our levels for the last few weeks, uh, and then the confidence after that game, even though we didn't get the results, the, the confidence in performance. Get away from me now, I'll pass you. <laughs> the confidence in performance, um, we can take that into the next few games now, so... Yeah, Rochdale tomorrow night and uh, hopefully we'll all get the three points and back on track in the league. It's easy to forget we're playing in League Two and it's a difficult league at times so to try and play the football you want to when you've got teams who are direct, physical, pitches aren't great. Um, but it's no excuse. Yeah, Ash was right, we haven't, we haven't been at our level and we haven't, haven't been playing to the style of play we wanted to recently. Um, so on, on Saturday at Peterborough was back to that style. So um, Rochdale, we played them about a month ago, something like that, in the Papa John's. Um, so it was, a, it was a good surface, big pitch. Um, they're a good team, even though they, they, they're not in the great position in the league. So it'll be a good game and, and we'll be looking to put um, three points on the board. I'm very happy. Um, you know, I've worked hard to get to this point, so it's a big moment for me and my family. I'm really happy to be here. Do you feel like this is the next step in your development at Salford? Yeah, definitely. You know, I came in um, as an 18-year-old to Salford without any senior experience. So the main thing was for me to go out and play personally football, try and make an impact on it. and. You know, I feel like I've done well on my different loans and it's managed to you know, bring me back here and hopefully get a few more opportunities with the first team. It's yeah. really good news um, for the football club, you know. I think it's important that we tie down young players that have quality here. Um, what they will see is that if they do well, which he has, Dakers has, has gone out on loan and um, scored goals at South End and played well. and So that's the reason why he's come back, he's been in contention. Um, with the first team squad, uh, he came on the pitch at Leighton Orient. So, I think what it does show, if you if you are a young player here and you do well, you will get rewarded. You'll get a chance to play in the first team. You'll train with the first team. There's quite a clear pathway there for you to 
to move your career forward. So we're all delighted that that, that Dax has signed his contract. You know, he's a, a really young player with high potential, and you know, myself and the staff, um, we're looking forward to working with him. Yeah, and I'm guessing the long term objective is to be the number nine, the main man up front. Yeah, of course. Yeah, definitely. That's um. You know, it's a it's a big big step up for me uh, playing the league, and that's my main goal is to have an impact on the first team and you know help the team get promoted. And um, yeah, 